And Eve Horn reporting in the Irish Independent, uh, well, the Sunday Independent last week, wrote, it's the last sanctuary to retreat to from the outside world, but a number of Irish couples will throw open the doors to their bedrooms to tell the nation what they get up to between the sheets. The RTV, sorry, the RTE TV documentary, In Bed with the Irish, uncovers the nation's attitudes to love, intimacy, snoring and duvet theft through the honest opinions of a range of Irish couples. One of the couples involved will be Deirdre Morrissey, who comes from Dungarvan, and her boyfriend, Rory. They've been together for the last four years, and Deirdre joins me now. Good morning, Deirdre. Good morning, Lily. How are you? I'm very well indeed. Welcome to the programme. Two questions. How did you get involved in this programme, and why? Um, Well, the funny thing is, it's actually true. Rory, one of his um, friends, was out for dinner with the producer of this particular show, and um, they were saying they were looking for a couple to take part in this, and his friend suggested us that we'd be great, um, that we'd be good fun on it and up for it, and um, they rang us, so we just said, why not? But I why? Mean, okay, well, you say why not, but why? Well, um, I, I say yes to life. I say yes when people ask me to do things. I mean, I, I work in the media anyway, and I know um, how these things work. I love documentaries, and... Um, I, I don't think anyone really lives in private anymore. I mean, the days of privacy are kind of gone, I think. I mean, like, if you see how popular Facebook is, and, I mean, if you think about when you, you know, years ago, when you, if you went on holidays and had your holiday snaps, I used to go to a pharmacy to have them developed where I wouldn't know anyone working there. So you could censor the photos before anyone would see them. And now all our holiday snaps are up on Facebook, you know? Like, that shows that that's... That used to be a very private thing. That's gone in it now. And um, I think that's the same kind of for life now. I, I think that to have people come and meet you in an intimate setting and and talk to you, I think it's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm open to that. And yet people would say that if you hold on to your privacy, what you're holding on to is something very special and intimate about yourself. So sometimes you share that with other people, but not necessarily with all and sundry, because it's simply not their right to know it. Right. Yeah, I mean, I suppose everybody it's has... It's not that you're hiding anything that you're doing, it's just that yeah. this is special, and therefore not everybody has the right to be part of it. Yeah, I mean, for me, I think that there's there's boundaries there, and, and um, I just say what happens when you wipe them out, you know? And this program that you're involved with, when you read about it as, re- as, as it was depicted or, or spoken about by Neve in that article last Sunday, exactly what's involved? Is this a fly-on-the-wall documentary about what you and other couples get up to in the bedroom? Yeah, I don't think it's particularly about the couples involved. It's more to do with the topic. It's, it's um, exploring an intimacy that, that everybody, um, everybody can relate to because everyone everyone experiences something like this a similar situation just every night so we see we see people every day and and um we can relate to them but then this documentary is kind of going behind the mask of what you see through people every day in life and but i couldn't care less well, sorry dear, 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 I, just said, I couldn't care less what people get up to in their bedrooms yeah i don't think it's about um like if i told you now on the phone it wouldn't like or through this into it wouldn't sound it, nobody cares but something happens with documentaries when you go to somebody's intimate place and you talk to them like even did you see the documentary his and hers where they they go around and talk to irish people about their life and they're telling very mundane stories but they're sitting on a couch they sit on for the last 30 years every day and it just brings a whole new life but why to waste topic, valuable television time on that kind of well basic trivia People, well, go to, people go to their bedrooms maybe to read a book, make the decision to, to sleep, it. to snore, maybe to, you know, fart, for want of a better word, or perhaps yeah. have sexual intercourse. But like, okay, the, close the door so, and, get, you, know, you know, people sometimes say when people get a bit intimate in public, get a room. That's what these yeah. rooms are for, to be private. Yeah, but, um, you know, like, what... You, okay, you watch a movie, right, and you see people in bed and talking in it. Yeah, but a movie is fiction. Int- Hang on, a movie is fiction. Yeah. But what's it based on? It's based on people's stories. They come from somewhere. They come from their real-life experiences. No, I mean, okay, based on somebody's experience, but then that's fictionalized. Yeah. It's, it's not a documentary. And so, but, but if we find that interesting, why wouldn't we find it interesting, the reality of it interesting? 
Because it's a private domain. Who cares what goes on in somebody's bedroom? But the, the lines between private and public are very much blurred in this present day, in this but is that, that we but, live in. But is that a good thing? It's not, it's not for me to answer. It's, it's a reality. Um, but it must like, be for you to you know, answer with people, all due respects if you're involved in it. Um, yeah, absolutely. I, 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 don't, um, I don't have any barrier there between like, private and public. I think it's... I'm, I'm up for doing it. That's why I took part in it. I think, okay. I, and Deirdre, what I do think you, it'll be interesting to sure. see what... And like, what do you think the outcome of this would be? You know, I mean, what's the ultimate goal or the end of, of this kind of programme? And you're participating in it. Yeah, and um, there is no big, like, ultimate expose or anything. It's it's a half hour of TV. I think it'll be interesting. The guys who did it are extremely professional, two producers, and, and, they, and it's a topic that they care strongly for, and uh, they pitch this idea. Hundreds of ideas are pitched to RT every day. Don't ask me why they went with this one. Obviously, they thought it was something that the public would be interested in, and it would be interesting to see the viewership figures. Mm-hmm. And I think we live in a reality society. Reality TV programs are the most popular thing at the moment, like Big Brother. I don't know why people find that interesting, but the viewers were absolutely huge um, to watch people sitting around and, you know, picking their bums. <laughs> but, but, I mean, you know, its day is over. It's now on, on Channel 5 in the UK. Probably has gotten one series, and that's about it. People yeah. are tired of Big Brother. Yeah, so uh, this is, I'm not saying this is like Big Brother. I'm saying it's another kind of a reality TV show, you know? Mm-hmm. And would you do a similar program again? Um, well, I haven't seen this one yet, so I will decide then. But um, I would, yeah, I would say yes again. I think I would say yes. I I'm a yes person. I'm a believer. I, you know, I. If, um, but would you say yes to everything? Um, I mean, when you say that I you're a yes, yes person. I on your show. Yeah, and thank you for so of doing. Of course, I wouldn't say yes to everything. Um, no, I mean, I, uh, I think that life is like this. You know, a boat is, is safe at the harbour, but it's not made for the harbour. But I think even though when you're in the sea, you have to you check your lifeboat. You have to, you know, you have to check the lifeguards every so often and the lighthouses and make sure you're safe. And of course, you don't want to um, go too far or you don't want to, you know, do anything to injure yourself or upset or cause any harm to anyone. So, no, of course, you have some boundaries. But um, I think it's very harmless. I mean, I think, yeah. I think this is a bit and, of fun. Like, and, and in fairness, I mean, based on what I'm reading about the programme, I mean, the couples also talk about... Uh, why they regularly tussle over the duvet, uh, you know, this kind of thing. It's 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 very mundane. It's the ordinary um, stuff that people get up to in their I bedrooms. Think, actually, I think the intimacy of this documentary, I mean, there's couples in their 70s who talk about things that like, their whole lives together in bed and what, and this whole, this whole half of their lives that they spent together in bed and how, you know, the different little problems that they've occurred over the years. And maybe a lot of people will... Um, find that insightful and maybe relate to us and ha- maybe help them in some way with problems that they have. And I know that they say they've experienced a situation now where the husband is, one of them is uh, yeah. through illness, that mm-hmm. they, yeah, and and how they're dealing with that and what effect that's had in their relationship. Um, who knows what the outcome of the documentary will be? There'll probably be a lot of very interesting things in there. And Deirdre, how long do they stay filming with you? Um, well, the interview took an hour and then they just did little films of just the routine things you do before bed so um i'm not sure it'll probably only be is there probably only air about 10 minutes of it also can i say to you i mean did they spend much time filming in the bedroom itself yeah about an hour about an hour yeah i mean when you get talking and things like this we thought it would be 10 minutes but then by the time we finished it was an hour so you know there's a very good interviewer he you know he brought out it made you very relaxed. You brought out, a, a, you know, a very intimate side of it, things. So, and Deirdre, finally, would you, you know, always want to spend your life in the public eye at that level? Um, I don't have any like any um, set plan. I mean, I, I, I find I've never had a problem with the public. I suppose growing up in a pub, um, <laughs> working with with customers all my life. That prepares you, doesn't it? I've I've never really had I've yeah. never had a bad experience with the public. I'm fine with this. So, mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, for as long as I want to, at some stage I want to retreat, then absolutely I'll do that too. But for the moment, this is how you're going to live it. Yeah, <laughs> it's 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 um it's not like I'm putting everything out in public, you know. So. Mm-hmm.
Yeah. Now I mean, you say that you're. Are, are you working as a journalist? Are you working as a? Yeah, yeah? and I'm writing a book as well. All right, and is the book a fiction piece? Yes, well, it's chiclet. Yeah. Oh, excellent! And have you a publisher? I have. Yeah, Denise Richard Agency. And expected date of publication? Um, well, I will, would say it would take, um, I'm hoping to have it out next year for Christmas. All right, okay, well done. Yeah. Thanks for that. Thank Lovely yeah. talking to you. By the way, who is this? Okay, when, 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 did this dear, when did the programme air? Um, it'll air this Monday night at 9.30 on RTE 2. On RTE 2. Okay, yeah. thanks very much. Appreciate okay, that. Thank you. Bye. bye bye. Bye bye. That's Deirdre Morrissey from uh, Dungarvan. She's one of the couples, well, it would be part of one of the couples involved in that television programme. And the programme is called In Bed with the Irish next Monday night to, uh, on uh, RTE 2 at half past uh, nine. The intimate documentary will see couples discuss their first impressions of each other, their bedtime habits and rituals, sexual attitudes, and impact of religion in the bedroom, and how they see their future. Uh, this says Billy, the River Blackwater is being polluted. And the government doesn't want to do anything about it. It is an EU protected area and I'm told to look up BEAG Blackwater Action Group and we shall do that. Another listener was on to say my life is very private and I would never share it with the world. I don't agree with most of what has been said. People are private and shouldn't be on Facebook. The whole thing is rubbish. Well, you haven't seen the documentary, so don't knock it until you see it. Um, but I would say be very careful what you put up on Facebook, this business of people sharing their absolute intimate moments, you know, uh, on Facebook and on Twitter is just quite beyond me. Uh, but to each their own. The Voice of Waterford. Asia AM with Billy McCarthy. With Waterford Airport connecting you to the UK and the world. WLRFM. Now, I think I must apologise to young Deirdre there because I think it was a tad too tough on her to begin with because I was trying to make the point about the, the barrier or the borderline that should be there between privacy and private and I'll get back to her after the programme because as somebody else said, she didn't invent the programme, she just participated in, so sorry, it was a little bit, well I put it the wrong way and it, I just, I have no problem putting my hand up in those kind of situations because I'm, I have no doubt that Deirdre is a lovely lady and it wasn't being personal, I was just trying to make the point but I didn't make it in the right way. Uh, so we'll do, I'll get back on to Dear, at the when the program's over, uh, Marion agrees that there's too much of this kind of what she says is uh, rubbish on television. She says people's private lives should be exactly that, and I suppose that's the point that I would agree with, but others would disagree with me. And some other comment coming in to our text line, which is zero eight three double three double three nine seven five. Again, the other point of view. Billy, when's the show on? I must make sure uh, that I miss it. Well, that's sorry. I, I thought that was going to read. I must make sure that I see it. <laughs> Uh, this says RT has reached a new low. Is this what we pay our license fee for? What rubbish! Anybody who would find this kind of crap interesting needs to get a life. And this comes in from one of our listeners. But then again, as dear to made the point, look how popular the reality television programs are, such as Big Brother and any other kind of fly on the wall thing. It's but I wonder if all of that kind of television's day is rapidly coming to a close. Now, back to the news that Leo Varadkar, the Minister for Transport, has instructed the uh, Road Safety Authority and the County Council to have a look at speed limits on our roads uh, to, well, downgrade some and upgrade others. It says, I think the speed limits are so